all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we are going to be looking at the new Frostfell event i'm going to be going over all the information in the event in this video let's get into it Okay, first things first, let's go over the new content added to Frostvale. So there's no dungeon key requirements on the dungeon, so you don't have to worry about waiting for keys to regenerate or anything like that. Uh, there's no dungeon key requirements, so you can just do the dungeons over and over again without worrying about the keys, which is great. Other than that, there's two difficulty modes, modes normal, epic. Lock, epic is locked at level 13+, plus, so you have to be level 13 or above to play the epic mode, but there's normal mode also. I don't know if there's any gear that's locked behind the epic uh, being level 13 plus. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but there's two different difficulties if you want to play on a higher difficulty. There you go. Five quests uh, before you can begin crafting. So you have to do at least five quests before you can craft anything. It's okay. Uh, two dialogue cutscenes. Craftable armor set. Boots, gloves, belt, and hat. Level five. Craftable weapon and battle on. Does not require the quest to be completed at level five. Uh, these are items. Of course, you can collect these items, which are seasonal. None of the items in the event are going rare. These items are all seasonal, uh, so they'll come back next year. So if you miss them this year, you can always get them next year. And there's also going to be a four craftable weapons for the normal dungeon, two craftable items for the epic dungeon, our first scaling dungeon. So they're adding scaling dungeons, which means it'll about average out the levels. I think for the normal dungeon, it puts the level five, and I think it'll put the level 13 in the epic dungeon. So it sets everyone's level on the even playing field. So you can make sure that the people you're playing with are the appropriate level for the dungeon, and they're not holding you back or like uh, boosting you through the dungeon real fast. So those are all the new stuff in the event. That's all the new stuff added. Let's check it out in game. All right, we are in game. Let's check out the new event. Big shout out to Zach on Twitter for sending me the code to get this set of armor. Very nice. Well, not the armor, but the cape and all that stuff. The Chronomancer in AQ3D. Uh, he had the code and he did not uh, need it. So he sent it to me. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. So, um, there's music. I think the music's new. I'm going to turn it off for the purpose of this video because it's pretty loud. <laughs> but there it is. I, I, I don't know. Here's the new map. Uh, this is not the battle on. Um, but this is the new map where you go, of course. Of course this isn't battle on. Battle on also got a recolor. So we'll go there real quick just to run through that. Battle on. So here's battle on. Not a recolor. They added a bunch of stuff to it. So... Looks very nice. There's uh, mobs in here. The snowman mobs at level 1. So I guess you can farm these guys. They drop snowballs, I guess. And, uh, well, I don't guess. I know. Because uh, I've already looked through. And uh, you can talk to him and craft this item. So you don't have to do any quests, like I said before, to get this item. It is level, what level is it? It's level 5. And uh, it's not as good as the item I have right now. But if you're level 5, this might be a good item. It only takes 10 minutes to craft. And you only need 50 snowman kills here in battle on and that of course is also a seasonal item so if you talk to blizzy here you can go to the travel travel to the event now in the event there's a quest so you're going to want to take these quests when you first get here uh, it'll load a cutscene i'm going to skip this cutscene uh you can watch it for yourself when you get to the event it's just gonna be me reading text um and the cutscene in my opinion needs a little bit of work uh, I read through it in a previous recording of this, um, and, uh, yeah, I kind of canceled that because it was just not the best. So, they added new sets of armor here. I'll just quickly go through them. Got the boots, the gloves, the belt. So, I'm just going through this in case anyone's away from the keyboard. Uh, you get the hat. Oh, the weapons, which are interesting. The slasher looks amazing. I wish the preview window was a little bit bigger. Um, because these weapons seem to go out of the preview window unless you get them at the right angle. A new staff, a scythe, which I think, I may be wrong, but I think it's one of the first scythes in the game. It is one of the first, like it's going to be one of the, and then for, these are the higher level ones, so these are all normal level stuff. So you can get this at uh, below level 13, but you have to be above level 13 to get these horns, which have a custom animation on the breath. If we wait for it, I don't know if it, there we go. 
and uh, they look really cool. I might actually get my character to level 13 just to get these horns, because oh, they look so good. It does take five hours to craft them, which is a little long, but definitely worth it for those horns. And uh, this, whatever this is, I... <laughs> Uh, it looks like someone took a slab of ice and put it on the end of a stick, but uh, looks like it would deal some good damage. So, I guess that's all you need a weapon to do. There are all the items in the shop. There's two different dungeons. There's the low tier dungeon, which you need to do, uh, of course, for the quest. Uh, you can't go into the uh, upper tier dungeon until you've done this, uh, this dungeon first. So, you need to accept the quest, track them, and do these quests. So, you need a seal found. And that will be in the first dungeon. So this isn't a quest guide or anything like that. I'm just telling you how to do it in case, uh, well, if you haven't ran through it yet. So you just got to do the first one. And see, it won't let me do this. It says I need to do the quest. So definitely run through that one first. Uh, the dungeon is really cool. I won't spoil anything. Um, but they are free to go in. Wait, why won't? Why can't it? What? What? Okay, there we go. And they are Christmas themed, and they're in, and they're in caves. So it seems like all the dungeons. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it seems like all the dungeons they do, they're in caves, and uh, I'm fine with that uh, for now. But it'd be cool to see a little bit of mix up in the next dungeon, where maybe maybe we're in like a sky a sky castle, or something. I don't know. I I can't. I'm I don't, I'm not paid to think of ideas here, uh, but it'd be cool to have some different uh, different areas other than in caves, because you know being in caves all day that can get kind of depressing. You know, just being in dark caves all day. I don't know. Um, but that is the new event. That's all the content in the new event. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. A little short video just to tell you and show you the new event stuff. So have fun playing through the Frostfell. I won't play through any of it off stream. I'll wait and do it all on stream with you guys. We'll run through dungeons together and stuff like that. I don't know when that will happen. Uh, this event is here until January. Sometime in January. I Actually, I don't think they have a date for it to leave. I, most Christmas events for most games that are out right now are leaving in January, so uh, if you want to get this stuff, I would hurry and get it. Of course, if you don't get it, it'll be seasonal and it'll come back. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great rest of your week. Peace. I'll see you on Friday's stream, 3.30 for AQW. Bye.